All right, guys, welcome back to the tutorial. Uh, last time we um, created the list box for our GUI and added a couple of items to it. We're not quite done yet with our um, with our list box um, GUI though, because now we've got the list box items in there. But if I run the game, let me show you uh, what happens. Run the game, and you can see the kitty cat, and you can see our two items. So that works fine. But when I change from one to the other, the graphic doesn't change. The button here doesn't change or the, the image, which is really what we want. And also, right now, the OK button doesn't do anything either. So we need to fix those two things, and I'll do that in this video. Um, the first thing we want to do is fix it so that when you change between these two items, the image changes. Well, the way that you do that is we have to go back to the GUI. Um, you guessed it. There's an event that's fired whenever you, whenever you switch between these two items, or any, any items within the list box, it fires an event associated with the list box. So click on the list box here in your GUI, make sure that's selected, go down to your um, trusty lightning bolt, and there's one event, it's on selection change, which means every time a selection is changed in the, event, in the uh, list box, it'll call this event. So click on the ellipsis, that creates a function for us called list box one on selection changed. Now what we can do is depending on what the uh, list box's selection is, we want to, to set the graphic of the button accordingly. Um, so let me go back and remember what, what did I call this image button? What was the name? It was called button one. Okay. Because I'll need to know that. So what I want to do then is say, first of all, say if list box one dot selected index. Now selected index is a property of the list box and that tells you which item is selected in that list box. Which one did the user just click on? Um, it's not a um, text, um, it's, it's not going to say mad or happy, it's going to say 0, 1, 2, 3, um, whichever, uh, the numbered item of whichever one they've selected. It starts at 0. The very first item is 0, everything after that is 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. In this case we have two items, so it's going to be 0 or 1. So if selected index is 0, which is the first item in the list, then that's the mad, the mad item. So I'll go ahead and um, put a little comment out here that says mad, so we'll, I'll remember. So if the selected index is zero, then so make the uh, button one dot normal graphic, which is the normal graphic that's displayed on that button, equals 711, which was, if you remember, was our kitty graphic. And, and then otherwise, else, if list box one dot selected index is one, which is happy, just for a comment, um, then I want to select, set the button one dot normal graphic to seven twelve, and that's all the, that's all there is to that. So let's test that out. Let me run the game. Okay, we have mad selected, go to happy, and it changes the graphic just like we need it to. So that's that's perfect. Now we just need to fix the issue with our OK button, and I'd kind of like to move this uh, GUI to the middle of the screen as well. So, go to our list box, select our OK button, go to our events, on click, and we've done this before with the name GUI, it's very similar, same thing. So, um, I want to say g listbox dot visible is false. Make the make the the listbox go away, or the the GUI go away. Um, one thing that I do want to point out here is, let me go back to where I'm turning the GUI on. I'm turning the GUI on here. I'm saying g listbox dot visible equals true, and I'm adding the two items here. At this point. I'm only doing this if the player's name is blank. Remember that the player's name was a global variable that we set up when we were doing the player name um, GUI. But now I've turned off that player name GUI, so there's no way to set this player name. Um, so this will all, this it will always display this this list box uh, every time we walk in the room. So to fix that for now, um, this is kind of a little hack and and just just to kind of get around that issue, I'm going to go ahead and set player name here when they click OK. 
I'm going to set player name to Sammy. That way, that way the the GUI will only show up once. Okay. So um, the last thing I want to do with this with this dialog box is to make it in the middle of the screen. So I'll just set the um, top to 50 and the left to 85. That should put it around the middle of the screen. And let's try it out. Let's run the game and see. Okay, so there's our GUI in the middle of the screen. And as we select our personality options, we change the graphic just like we needed. And when we click OK, the dialog box goes away. Now what I didn't do here and I didn't I did with the name dialog box is you'd probably want to save that personality the personality choice. You'd want to save that away into a global variable just like we did with uh, the name dialog box. I didn't do that here but basically it's the same idea. Whichever one they set whenever they click OK um, in the OK function uh, which would be here um, you would set the global variable, whatever global variable you set up for the personality, you'd set it here just like we did with the player name. But I just didn't do that in this case uh, because we've already done it with the, um, with the other one. So that's what I wanted to show off in this video and um, hopefully that you learned something with this one. Now there's two more, um, two more list, there's two more GUI items, uh, the slider and the inventory window. So I'll be going over those two. Um, in the next couple of videos just to, sh just to round out this, um, this series on the GUIs, and uh, we'll go from there. Hope to see you around, guys. Bye.